Hey guys, this is Jerry Mateo with Plugin Boutique, and today we're going to be taking a look at Isotope's Neutron Advanced version 2 and how we can utilize its visual mixer to actually finalize and really polish up a mix. So every single track in this mix has been mixed through Neutron. All I did was I analyzed it, had it set up its mix assistant, and then I did a little bit of tweaks here and there just to do things that I want to do, you know, like some specific tones that I particularly like. That's pretty much all I did in this whole session. The only time I didn't was when I had to have a reverb or I wanted a bass amp simulator. So if we go right here and we start off, we can see that I actually have no panning going on at all. The only thing I've done is I've set a basic level setup so I have good gain staging. And then since I'm in Studio One, I've turned every single track into stereo so I can utilize the visual mixer to actually do the stereo width enhancement and the panning inside of Neutron. So now we're gonna just play this and I'm gonna show you guys what this sounds like without anything going on right now. And there you go. This is obviously a cover of Tom Petty's Running Down a Dream. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off and we're going to actually utilize a visual mixer. You'll notice that I have named every single track. And if I hit this little eyeball, I can hide them so they're no longer being affected. But we're going to start off with the drums. So we'll just highlight them all, solo them up. And now let's just press play. Now, the first thing I really want to do is talk about how good Neutron sounds. Let's do a quick A-B, shall we? Off. On. Really, really cool. So the first thing I want to do is I want to set my basic overall positioning. So if I hold shift, I can actually move stuff left or right, side to side without actually moving them around in a circle. So all you have to do is if I'm going to pan something to the left, I just start moving to the left and hit shift and it'll automatically lock it in. So my toms, I like to have them to the left and I have my tom two to the right. Around there looks good. Let me see my snares are pretty good the way they are. We're going to fine tune those as we go. My overheads, which is actually really cool. If I bring them up in volume, I can show you guys the stereo width enhancement. I'm going to just make it a little bit more stereo than normal. And then I'm going to bring it down around here. I'm going to also bring up the volume of my toms by about 3 dB. And my kick is good, but I want to just beef that up a little bit by bumping up by maybe a dB or two. Let's try that drum reverb. Just set it up around here. Cool. My hi-hat, I am going to pan to my right because this is uh, audience perspective. And you can hear that a lot of the hi-hat was captured in the actual overheads itself. So let's quickly set this and just listen to how this sounds right now. How before, after. Cool, a little bit of width, a little bit of uh, stereo placement and enhancement. I'm just gonna do this with the toms. Let's take this out of solo. And now let's focus on the bass and the guitars. Solo these out. So let's see what this guitar is doing. That sounds pretty cool. Let's go to the other guitar, the one that's strumming. And then let's go to the bass. And just to be super safe, we're going to make it mono by drawing it in and hold shift and bump up the volume. Let 
Now, in this case, I am going to bring up my tone balance control because this is a great way to see what is going on. I'm just going to hit here, reset this, set this up to 10 seconds, enable analysis. Here we go. If I go to fine, I can see I'm having a little bit too much going on over here. So let's select that base, duck this down a tiny bit. And we can even activate an extra band, have it right here, and let's make it dynamic. So now let's bring everything in. Let's see how it sounds like if we do an AB. Okay, that sounds way better, a lot cooler. Now let's focus on those vocals because obviously the thing that needs to stand out the most would be the vocal. Let's see what happens if we try to enhance the stereo width on this. Let's bring it up so we can hear it. Let's enhance it just a tiny bit and here we go. Find the background vocal. So right here, I'm noticing there's a little section where I should actually do a quick edit. And that's just so I can keep the volume apparently the same. This looks good. Looks like both the vocals need this slight tuck. See what that sounds like. I'm going to set the background vocal to be just a little bit to the right. And we're going to extend its stereo range. Let's see what this does for us. That sounds pretty good. I put the pedal down to make some time. Cool. So if we start from right there, let's do an A-B real quick. And let's be it. I put the pedal down okay. some time. So there you go. We've drastically improved that sound. It sounds nothing like what it used to. And this is just using the visual mixer. So imagine what I could do if I open up every single instance and really tweak and fine tune everything after it's given me a really good basis. So let's not only just do this, but let's bypass every single instance of Neutron and then we'll bring them back in. With it. I put the pedal down. Without it. Some time. Overall, that's extremely impressive and that's really, really good. This is a really impressive update. I'm actually kind of getting a little scared of how powerful these products are becoming. They're ridiculously intuitive. And the best thing is they don't replace a mixing engineer, but what they do is they help you do your job faster. Anyway, that's it for today's video. This is Jerry Mateo with Plugin Boutique, and I will see you guys next time. Mm -hmm.